Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 and... Tonga time! And Tonga time. We are reaching the final moments of this campaign, but not just yet. Uh, we have a couple more episodes to do and I was actually planning, like I said in the last episode, to not do this as my mainline title. I guess something like that, but I was planning to make a new campaign right now, but embarrassingly enough I thought it would be the 11th of November today, I don't know how I counted, but yeah. So I was planning to start a new campaign in Enzig about the first world war, since tomorrow it's the 100 year day, well, since the end of the first world war. So I was gonna time that perfectly, but yeah, I can't count apparently. So we're gonna start it tomorrow, 8 o'clock. With a stream, I think. Yeah, with a stream, I think. That's that's pretty fitting. So yeah, we're gonna start in Enzig, the 1918 start date. Well, to, I don't know, celebrate or... Yeah, celebrate the end of the First World War. And I hope you'll tune into that. Everything will be, well, will be up and running with notifications, stuff like that, quite soon. Probably right off this episode comes up but we'll see so yeah don't miss that stream but otherwise let's let's check in the last couple of moments of tonga time so right now we it's going great for us invading india like this we have literally no problem at all it finally feels feels nice to play a tonga time where we don't have to worry about us getting completely crushed uh, we have completely surrounded whatever they have right here yeah that's then what I was gonna say we completely crushed the Indian Navy. Holy shit. They dis they had way, way too many airplanes, I think. And that just obliterated our fleet. Holy shit. They killed so many of you right now. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Most, you were so close to surviving this. But no, you died in the very last moment. Oh my god. <laughs> have to pay respects. <laughs> Holy shit. All of you are dead. <laughs> That's completely insane. We're taking our revenge, definitely, but... What the hell? There we go, taking down that. How much longer before you fall completely? Just a tiny bit more. But yeah, wow, that was that was completely unexpected. I really thought this would just be a complete slaughter, but no. Apparently not. Uh, let's see, what can we do to hopefully make sure that doesn't happen again? Well, one thing we can do is... Oh my god, did I never execute this order? We never got enough superiority? Is that it? Really? Uh, well, you're trying to get a superiority right there. Uh, let's... Yeah, I'm gonna cancel your current repair task, but you're only gonna guard... Come on, listen to me. You're only gonna guard this one area for a short second so I can send these guys out. No, I, I never think I actually just executed this order. Okay, you're going right now, but well, you're gonna be on convoy protection right now, my dear ships, and you're actually gonna automatically split off like the guys that are very, very damaged. I would agree that, well, I would say that all of these are very damaged, but whatever, whatever you say. Uh, let's see, my air, air force I currently have, yeah, right there, very, very few, but yeah, all of you are gonna jump in right there as extra protection. Whatever I have, really, that can be counted as extra protection shall be. Uh, let's see, we have a bunch of fighters, so let's just do like this. There we go, a thousand fighters. Oh, of course I deployed them up there and not actually where they are supposed to be. Well, luckily they're super quick, so when they are finished, we can just, well, throw them in right there. Come on, come on, there we go. Everyone jump over right there and protect. Try to get air priority right there. Uh, these guys are getting over quite quickly. Let's see how the split is right here. Yeah, very, very difficult. Uh, let's do force attack and see if that helps. 
yeah, seems to be going fine right now. And you are landing right here, which means you can attack from the side. Hopefully that will help. And um, I think we're actually going to capture that single port. That would be quite nice. Uh, otherwise, the rest of the divisions are just moving in, completely crushing all Indian defense. Come on. T oh my god, just take this down before they manage to reinforce it anymore, please. Thank you. 11 division, so it's 1-1-11. One, one, yeah, that's a that's a even split. <laughs> well, I don't even know if it's supposed to be even. I don't think it is. But, well, it's good enough. Come on, just take that down. Very good. Come on, a tiny bit more. Tiny bit more. There we go. You, you end up right there. Please attack right here as well. Just surround and destroy as much as possible. And peace conference. Oh, wait, no, that's of course not mine. <laughs> I haven't had my peace conference yet. And let's see, there we go. Everyone ready right here. 11, 13 divisions. And, well, you can, I don't know, invade something like this. That'd probably be good. Yeah, so that naval invasion worked perfectly and would probably have been much better if we just, well, executed it right away. Nepal has capitulated. But not India. Come on, they, they have so little left. Uh, all of you guys, including the infantry right now, I'm just going to make a big selection box and say, take that city for me. We're probably going to take quite a bit of losses by doing this. Actually, we're probably not. India is on the last, like, <laughs> their last breath, really. Uh, India has pretty much retreated all the way right here, so yeah, let's just go in there as well. And now we're taking the capital, and that would be the end of the Indian War. So we can turn right away up to Russia and begin focusing on them. It's really the two great targets I want to bring down. I want to really make sure that Tonga is the greatest kingdom on earth when I leave them. There we go. And that should trigger the peace conference in just a second or two. Three, two, one. Excellent. Really? Bhutan? We have been fighting Bhutan. I refuse to believe anything else. We have been fighting there. No, 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 no. You are not going to be right there. No, CB. Who's the leader of this? Bhutan is in the... Commonwealth of Asia, yeah. Who's the faction leader? It's Bhutan is faction leader, great. Then we're just gonna remove them from the map, just to make sure. I know we have been fighting, at least something part. Maybe it was non-Bhutan troops, Bhutanese troops in Bhutan that we fought, which meant... Oh my god, really? Ugh. That that gotta be it. Uh, let's see, we're gonna no, uh, turn off on OCB, just so no weird shit happens. Uh, we're gonna remove your orders. Uh, we're gonna take Oh, damn it. Really? All of you get assigned right there again. And please, you're going to be on the other side right there. You're going to be under command of him. And we're going to take both of these tank battalions to begin with. And that should pretty much be enough to take down Russia. I'm not saying this sarcastically. They will just go in and crush Russia. Uh, what? Actually, wait. Let's do like this. Let's do like this. Um, you're going to... That's not what I meant to do. You take these two orders. Come on. Come on. It shouldn't be that hard to select. Uh, we're going to take... Yeah, there we go. You're going to be focused all the way right there. We're basically going to drag this down to be covering the about half of the front line. And then we're going to take a couple of infantry divisions. Let's see. You delete all your current orders. We're going to make a new front line for you. And the infantry is going to take the pain of the ass territory that is, well, the east. And from there to there. Take that, please. Cool. That's going to work pretty goddamn well, I think. Uh, these 13 divisions, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Who is in your faction there, sir? Uh, oh, we can see them in blue, for the love of God. Uh, let's see. You and Belarus. Well, we don't really care about Belarus right now. It's over there. So let's take these 13 marine divisions and deploy right there. That would be more than good enough. Cool. And then I just question, what are your plans? Oh, <laughs> come on. Fin finish. I... I thought we were done with this war. Come on, just take him down before you leave. <laughs> God damn it. So yeah, uh, a war against Russia, and then it's war against NATO, and then we're done. Maybe we actually managed to finish this episode, finish it during this episode. I was planning to, yeah, like I said, have it a mean time series when I upload like 13, uh, 1 o'clock every day when I have time, guys. But maybe we actually have time to finish it around this episode. Nah, European Union should be quite hard to actually bring down. There we go, Baton, thank you. I couldn't just accept another nation be right in the middle of my nation. Uh, let's see, all of these boats. Well, I'm just going to group you together uh, right there. And then, well, we'll see what happens. 
Everyone hold your order. Who the hell are you? you? Hold your order and then go right there. I'm gonna select every single one. Thank you. All of you get in right there. And everyone repair now. Okay, cool. Now everyone is returning. Excellent. Every single one of my troops are gathering up. And let's see. How's the infrastructure right there? It's quite good. Let's see. Let's just fill up a tiny bit more with more infrastructure. Build everything up. Make it as good as possible. And uh, well, then we're going to clear war. We're also probably going to be on um, repair. Construct repair as soon as we declare war. Since, well, Russia, they will nuke the crap out of us. Uh, actually, maybe we should take down Kazakhstan at the same time. Just going in right here would open up to basically the heartland of... Hmm. 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 But that would mean more punishment divisions. And I don't have them just yet at least. Let's get a bunch more. Let's get 24 more. We should have enough. Well, I know we have enough equipment for that. So let's get that. Oh god, we have 8.5 million manpower right now. That's just completely crazy. Uh, these guys, where are you going? Uh, you're not going anywhere. I guess you can always be against these guys. And then we'll see if we can open up this. Uh, that might be a bit hard with only 24 of my infantry divisions. Actually, let's do like this. Oh my god, I'm so brilliant. I'm so brilliant. Well, I don't know if I am so brilliant. Because they will lose pretty much all of the experience points. But I will... Oh wait, it's you guys I'm going to shuffle. Yeah. Congratulations, you're going to get promoted. You are going to become punishment divisions. <laughs> because this is gonna go faster yeah you're losing pretty much all of your experience points all I need is troops on the front line like I just need the troops itself to shuffle around like you will get all your reinforcements from land and yeah you, you keep some of your experience points that's actually pretty good <laughs> so we're just sh completely converting one of our armies to tank armies uh, let's see do we have enough stuff for them yeah we do we, we still have a very good stockpile Cool, and then you're gonna enter right there. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Oh my god. I'm so I'm so brilliant <laughs> Just shuffling changing all of our infantry divisions right now to tank divisions <laughs> It's it's valid strategy <laughs> right now when I have so Awesomely much equipment. Uh, let's see is everyone ready for my attack. I think they are every single one of my divisions is on the front line uh, Well pretty much which part of Getting on front line, don't you understand? Uh, 24 divisions, are you just... Oh, supply. Is that the issue, really? A single division. Okay, it's more than a single division, but yeah. Let's just do it. No CB. Hello, Russia. Declare war. Tongue Kingdom goes to war. Declare war against you as well. And, of course, declare war against you. Turn off, and then... You, attack. You, attack. But you don't... Yeah, you do have an order. Never mind. You attack, you attack, you attack, and of course you, my dear sir, attack right there. What the hell are you? Oh, you're just <laughs> garrisoning those. <laughs> garrison that place forever when you don't actually have to garrison any anymore since, well, we're fine. So everyone is just moving in. Shouldn't be any difficult of breaking the Russians right there. They assigned way too few troops to stop me. Sad, just be super aggressive. Uzbekistan want to send volunteers? Well, I don't want their volunteers. Because they will take supply. And I have all the troops I possibly need. But not all the supply I possibly might need. Uh, we're going to go into naval stuff. And get this third destroyer. God, that's probably one of the reasons. We have way too little naval doctrines. And all that lovely stuff. Uh, right here, everyone is now going to get assigned to the Tonga fleet right here. Why do I have several fleets? All of you guys get in right there. And the rest of you, well, just get over there and then I will see if I even need you. I don't think I need a fleet for taking down Russia. This should go rather quickly. They can't stop the massive wave of tanks just rolling in over their nation. Uh, actually, is everyone super aggressive? I need you to be super aggressive. Every single one of you. Good, good. And you, you are not super aggressive. Please be. We're not going to leave any, any chance of regrouping or anything like that. Because Russia could, if they pulled all of their forces to my front line, maybe give me a, a slight stop. A slight, a slight issue. 
but I think we are good enough right now. The problem with, well, being Russia is not only, well, the problem with invading Russia is they have a massive front. The issue with being Russia is that they have a massive front. So it's kind of working both ways. And if you just do a strategic strike and like a precise strike enough, which right now is over the entire front line, you'll probably be fine. Well, it's much harder to defend such a large line because you need to, well, either fall back quite far until a defense position or you need to, well, just throw your troops and they will shuffle around quite a bit until they find, find their right position. So yeah, come on, please just keep moving right now as much as possible. And when I think about it, maybe this order right now will be pretty good. Amphibious, just because of the extra marine supply grace. Oh, which you actually, never mind, it's completely useless because it won't be used since... Here are all my marines. <laughs> Damn it. I forgot about that. I forgot that I made them <laughs> their own order. <sighs> well, what do you do? It'll be fine. Come on, just take down that place so you can actually turn around and attack there with your full force. But let's just leave them be. They'll be fine. Uh, right here in the east, we are pushing forward very slowly, but it's working. God, way too many divisions were put in that surround. Like here, that's, okay, that's one division. Last time it was, I think, eight of each. That's just way, way, way too much. Uh, guys, just continue advancing. Everything's working fine. How are losses? Actually, 34k for me. That's about the same losses. I think I had 46 something when I destroyed India. So we're almost racking up the same numbers within, like, two months. So, but yeah. It's no issue, really. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure this is where we have all our losses coming from. I don't think I actually will need them anymore. I could switch them out to punishment divisions. Or I could just manually maneuver them so they actually do proper things. Let's see, let's see. Here are the marine divisions. You have, yeah, you're pretty much, you have everything you need. Just that it's not enough. I'm gonna bump you up to 40 size, so it's gonna hurt currently your marine bonuses, but I think we'll be alright. Oh, that will put us over the limit, that will not, okay. Then we're gonna add, so basically you're gonna, I'm doubling your size from where you were. Let's see, that should be good enough with equipment, yeah. Uh, let's just stop this. Hello guys, you're gonna stop your current push, please, just for, just for a short while, so you can get all your reinforcements, and then we'll see. Wow, you actually, surprisingly, you have more soft attack than my... How in hell is that possible? You have a lot more soft attack, a lot more hard attack. Wait, what? Or the infantry... Like, are the Im do th does the infantry have more soft attack currently than my tanks? If I would go in right here and see check, that's soft attack plus 21. My marine have soft attack plus 24. Okay. So how in hell is it the compare? You actually have more soft attack right now than my current SP. And we have the latest SP, right? Let me just double check that, because then theirs makes no sense. You have, let's see, soft attack, 60. But right here it says soft attack 135. Soft attack 134, soft attack 135. So the tanks are just playing out better. Yeah, they're so much better than the SP right now. So we shouldn't have a single freaking SP anymore. If we can afford that right now. Because that's a massive change. That's just better in everything. And it's reducing our combat width as well. Having SP is just better right now. Or not having SP is just playing out better. And increasing our organization as well. Health. Every and reducing our supply use by like a crap ton. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a bit weird, but fine. Uh, let's remove two of these and just add two tanks. It's going to reduce... We're going to be missing 2,000 tanks right now, but that's kind of fine. We're going to bump you up to produce 150. We're going to remove every single production of SP and just add even more tanks. 
As soon as we get more factories, please just get more tanks. Keep them coming. And just for safety reasons, let's see. Okay, we are repairing pretty much everything right now. Well, we are... Well, not really, actually. Wow, we are really not repairing stuff. Uh, not important stuff, at least. Uh, let's just bump up all this infrastructure. And let's jump down right here. Construct repair. I was going to say, just in case, let's build some more military factories. But yeah, we're not going to do anything like that. Uh, we're missing 2.6k tanks right now. Uh, let's see. You guys just push in right there and completely break them. Shouldn't be any issue. But still, how in hell do you have... Well, it's because you have 10 tanks, I guess. You have 10 tanks... You only have, let's see, five, six. So yeah, gen okay. Right now, it would be better to keep one SP. Actually, it would be better to keep two SP. We have enough supply for that. But yeah, we should switch them out ASAP as soon as we can. Huh. Surprisingly. Surprising that they so quickly go out of date. Yeah. They're, they're useless. Wow. The more you know. And I guess it would be the same thing right here because of, I guess, all the bonuses that tanks get that the SP don't. Somehow. I am really, really question questioning, qu questioning everything I see right now if I'm like seeing wrong or something. But yeah, that's kind of crazy. Uh, while we're pushing in right now, let's read some puns. We have one from Samuel Sjöstrand who says, a police officer stops a car. Office or well, this is more of a joke, but yeah. A police officer stops a car. Officer, your driving li uh, driver's license, please. Driver, I'm really sorry, I forgot. Officer, at home. Driver, no, to do it. <laughs> oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> uh, let's see, we have... Uh, Mysterious Ronu says, Two astronauts are discussing about a plan to fly to the sun. Are you insane? They will burn to death before they get uh, their close. But here's a secret. We'll go at night, because that's how it works. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's see. Uh, what uh, we have from Sed Bengus Wrinkle. Sorry for slotting your name, but that says... What is the city where always something happens? I think you should uh, switch that around. Uh, constantly Opal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so bad. I love it. <laughs> Constantly open. <sighs> Let's see. Come on, please just take this down. Just finish this off. Okay, we are pushing them back right now from the capital and they will be taken down. I'm probably just gonna throw them at the front line right now. Because wow, we are really expanding. You can see how much land we have already taken from Russia. Uh, let's see. Oh, we actually have some reinforcements right there. Please just go in right there and finish it. Oh, you're done. Okay, cool. Then you can take this down. You do whatever you're supposed to do. I think you were even <laughs> supposed to be assigned right there. But, well, we fixed it. Uh, these guys, yeah, you have new orders right now. Your order is to just go in and take down Russia. Uh, seems apparently I took wrong order right there. But, yeah, we fixed it. We fixed it. No issue. Uh, let's see, where's the ending of this order? God damn it, there. There it is. Just go up right there and then drag it down, and that's your new order. Just finished. And right here in the east. Well, we're slow but steadily advancing. No worries, no cry. Everything, everything will be alright. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Do we have new tanks or something? No. Then why are you blinking? Oh, because of the upgrades, that's why. Of course, adding five more right here would boost you up over the SP. But since you take so much less supply and stuff like that, I rather like you. Yeah, I like you more. There at least we have the explanation. Oh my god, I, I it was driving me nuts. Why in hell the tanks suddenly were better? But yeah, that explains everything. But I'm kind of fine with it actually. Wait, we have 2% war support? We actually have some war support in our nation. They're so tired of fighting. They're like... Uh, we will just win all the time. Why do we keep fighting? <laughs> uh, let's see. You guys definitely need to spread around a bit more. Let's see. These guys need to help defending this entire front line. Because, yeah. It suddenly became a shit ton. A crap ton larger. Let's see. You are guarding this. You are guarding this. 
And then we have you guys. Let's see, I, I need to make better colors, god damn it. You're completely red. Let's see, that red color covers the entire thing right here up until here, okay? Then we have you, who's gonna become completely blue. You are covering this. Okay, I think it's the issue is that my infantry units are covering way too little right now. So I'm gonna drag that one up. And let's see, what else are we gonna do? What the hell is with my infantry units? Not all of them are even assigned. Oh, because here the split became. Ah, apparent. Damn it. Uh, so I'm gonna have to just take a couple of you guys and just move in like this. And you guys are gonna go in like that. And you guys are gonna go in like this. But yeah, everyone's gonna be assigned properly quite soon. Okay, uh, let's see the purple line. Both of you are now assigned all the way right there. I'm gonna drag down this line massively. And where's the purple one? Wait, wait, that's proper. Yeah, I'm supposed to drag this one up all the way right there. Cool. Okay. Then, let's see. These blue tanks. You are now... Let's see. Here's a purple line. This is, this is like super confusing right now. And now, of course, I once again remove the field marshal. <laughs> this is not going well. So, we're going to do like this. You remove that, you remove that, you remove this. The only one having order are the infant units. They're covering all of that. Yeah, cool. Now I'm going to make a field marshal order. That covers like this area, I think. And you guys are going to go in right there and take that down. We're going to make a nice bright color to you. Yellow. And you can advance right there super aggressively. While these guys are going to cover the rest. Thank you. And you guys... Thank you. Cover all that, please, for me. Uh, in case we've, well, not been able to go right there and cover it, then, well, we'll get there eventually. And these guys are just pushing forward and will eventually cover most of these areas. Here, of course, Russia will push back, but it doesn't really matter. It'll be fine. It will always be alright. And let's see, we're missing 1.2k tanks, but yeah, we're filling that we're missing we're filling that void of missing tanks really really quickly uh, let's cancel that let's see we're gonna cancel five factors right there five factors on each of these and let's see do we have enough infantry weapons yes we most certainly do so let's cancel five factories right there as well yes everything is gonna go to the tanks every single factory yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, that's without any efficiency, basically. We're still getting two a day right there. We're getting 30 a day right there, 40 a day right there. We're almost getting one. <laughs> well, we're not getting one on the tanks. We're getting, let's see, right now, plus every single 338 every day with... That's including all attrition and losses. Our weekly production is 530 tanks, which is completely ridiculous. Like, really, really great. But yeah, completely ridiculous. Let's see, uh, tanks are shuffling around, but yeah, it's taking a while since, well, they're always getting confused. I'm just going to strategically deploy you guys and you guys down here, but we'll see how that goes. Are you both actually using, the, using strategic deployment now? Nope. Then get down right there, and you guys get down right there. And then we'll see where they actually decide on deploying. Uh, we have five, four units right there. I have no clue where you were supposed to be deployed right now. Since I've changed all of these orders. So I guess you can just be extra defense right here. Sure. Uh, let's just do like this. Thank you. You have some friends right now. And right here. Nope. Nope. What the hell is this red order right now? Did I tell you my dear infant units to be all that? Oh no. Because that doesn't work. That's not how the game works. Oh my god. Right. That's how the game works. Uh... Let's see, how can we fix this the easiest way? I guess the easiest way is to make you join up right there instead. Oh my god, and sp oh my god, this is just becoming such a big mess. It was just gonna be nice, clean victory right here, but no, 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 no. It gotta be completely messy. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna take you seven divisions. You're gonna go in right there and clean that up. I'm gonna take you eight divisions. You're gonna do pretty much the same thing, clean up this. These 24 divisions... You are going to cover, oh, it's this entire, no, right there. 
you are gonna cover this area and these guys well you're gonna cover that area both of you are gonna have orders going right here and you're gonna execute it as soon as you can and just for now just hold all your current orders and fix that thank you and now these tanks are gonna be properly set up i think yeah without any extra orders without any issues yeah good Ugh, that took a while but anyway guys i will to end this episode right now hopefully you enjoyed this and look forward to the stream tomorrow where we can play nsig 1918 start and try to save germany from the defeat of the first world war but um yeah hope you guys enjoyed like comment and subscribe this and i will see you guys next time bye and bye